Hey everyone and welcome. I'm Kaylin and today we have a beautiful, yummy stretch class for you. So where we're going to really hold the breaths and breathe and, um, and really just feel length and opening in the body. So I'm glad you can join me here. If you are here for the 30 day series, today is day 30. You made it. Congratulations. I'm so glad you joined me on this series. Um, if you're not part of the series, no worries. This is a great stretch class um, on its own. So we're going to start everybody in a seated position, just like this, a comfortable seat. So maybe that means you plop yourself on a block. Maybe you are on a blanket. Maybe you have have your, um, your legs in a different position sitting on your knees. Either way, find comfort here. I want you to grow tall through the spine. I want you to take a deep breath in through the crown of the head. And then I want you to exhale, let it go. Good. Take another deep breath in. And exhale, release. Good. And as you're sitting here breathing, I want you to think back on your 30 days in this moment and throughout the rest of the class. I want you to think about how you felt when you started and how you feel now, both mentally and physically. Um, and just take pride in what your body accomplished, whether it was over 30 days or 60 days or even longer, however long it took you, it doesn't matter. I'm just glad that you were here. So go ahead and take a moment, take a couple more deep breaths and reflect on that. Deep breath in. Exhale, release. Good, one more deep breath in. And exhale, release. All right, now we're gonna find a little twist and rotation. So I want you to go ahead and look over that right shoulder, bringing left hand to the outside of that right leg. Good, find this beautiful length as you twist. Hold there, inhale. Exhale, wringing out your spine even more, twisting a little further. Good, again, inhale. And exhale. Good, I want you to stay here, keeping your left hand on this right leg. Take this right arm and I want you to reach it up and over to the other side. So you're gonna be facing more forward now. So finding a nice full body stretch. Good. One more breath here. And you're going to take this right hand, you're going to place it on top of your left knee. So now both arms are crossed. And I want you to scoop the belly so you're coming into this rounded shape in your spine. Feeling a good stretch between the shoulders, down your back. Good, one more breath here. Good, and then sit up nice and tall, release those arms. Good, we're going to do the other side. So go ahead and Twist over that left shoulder, right hand to the outside of that left knee. Lengthen taller and rotate. Good, inhale. Exhale. Good, maybe reflect here on how your body feels both stronger and more mobile, right? So, we focused on that balance between those two throughout this series. And it's a great way to find that balance in the body so that we are strong, but also able to move our bodies in a way that feels good. All right, take that left arm. We're gonna bring it up and over to the other side, finding that side body stretch. Inhale here, exhale. Good, inhale, exhale. Good, now take that left hand to the right knee. Okay, coming back centered, but round your back. Drop, drop your chin to your chest, inhaling here. And exhale, last breath. 
Good, come and sit tall in your spine now. And then we're gonna roll slowly down onto our back. So face the uh, end of your mat to make sure you are rolling down the long way. And then once you get there, I want you to just take a nice full body stretch. So extend your legs, extend your arms, maybe puff up through the front of your chest and arch your back. Feel this nice opening. Good, one more breath like that. Okay, now we're gonna find a banana, a banana stretch. So you're gonna walk your feet over to the left side of your mat, cross your right ankle over your left. And then same with your upper body over to the top left side. Maybe we grab onto the right wrist with the left hand. And we're opening up this right side body. Good, inhale, breathe into those ribs. Exhale, let it go. Good, last breath. Good, as you release, do that nice and slow. You wanna keep that heart rate down. We're gonna move everything over to the other side. So legs to the right, left ankle crossed over right. Upper body to the right, grab onto that left wrist and reach. Breathe here. Breathing into your left side ribs. Good, bring it back to center. Bring your legs back to center as well. Bring your knees into your chest. And I want you to give yourself a big hug here. Even bring your chin up, your head up, forehead towards knees. Good, one more breath here. And then go ahead and release. All right, go ahead and bring your feet so they are mat distance apart. Go ahead and take your arms out to a T, palms facing up. And I want you to take both legs over to the right. And I want you to keep them there. I want you to see, does this feel like enough of a stretch? If you want a little bit more, you can take that right foot on top of your left knee and that'll pull that side down a little bit more, opening up this left side body. Good, I want you to just breathe here. Deep breaths in and deep breaths out. You can look over that left shoulder if that feels good. Take note of your mobility here, right? Your hips, your lower back. How does this feel compared to when you started, right? Do you feel a little bit more open, a little bit looser? Does this feel a little bit easier to get into? And if it doesn't, that's okay. But just take note of how that feels. All right, come through center, feet down. We're gonna go ahead and switch over to the other side. Legs to the left, again, if you want that deeper stretch, bring your left foot on top of that right knee and then look over that right shoulder. Speaking for myself, I know my hips feel better. They feel looser. I have this ongoing tightness in my right hip that I haven't felt recently, so that is a huge win for me. Um, I also feel more, I feel stronger in my upper body, which is also a challenge, so that's been really nice to feel that too. Good, go ahead and bring it back to center. All right, bring both feet down onto the mat. We're gonna come into our bridge. We're gonna hold it, clasping the hands under the back only if that feels okay for you. So have your legs hip distance apart, feet are close to the glutes, arms pressed down into the floor. Go ahead and lift those hips up and either just hold here, feeling this nice opening through the front body, connection through the back body, or maybe you snuggle your arms under you and you clasp your hands to get a little bit more stretch in the front of the chest and the shoulders. Good, just breathe there.
Go ahead, two more breaths. Try to lengthen front and back body here so you're not shortening your low back, okay? Last breath. Good, release those arms if you have them clasped. Roll the spine down one vertebrae at a time. All right, rock your head here side to side. Good, and either roll to your side and sit up or rock yourself up to a seated position. All right, I want you to take a quick break, either grab a sip of water or just stay here and breathe. And we'll come right back for the rest of this class. All right, let's go ahead and extend those legs long towards the end of the mat. We're gonna find a forward fold here. So I want you to widen your sitting bones into the floor, sit up nice and tall, flex through those ankles so feel some energy in the back of the legs. And I want you to start to hinge forward, walking those hands towards either the shins or the calves or even the feet if you can get there. And then wherever you stay, wherever you land, just let your head release. Your back can come a little bit more rounded now. Release the tension in your, in your jaw as well, in your shoulders. Try to find a little bit more length and fold each time you exhale. Good. Connect to that breath here, inhale. Exhale. Good, again, inhale. Exhale. One more. Good, start to stack your spine up to that tall seated position. I want you to keep now one leg extended and you're gonna pull the other one in. I'm gonna to turn to face you just a little bit so you can see me better. You're gonna keep that one leg out to the side. The other leg is pulling in. Sitting bones are still nice and wide. Now, we're gonna find a little side bend here. So I want you to go ahead and grab or bring your, not grab, but bring your elbow to the inside of your thigh. If that's not possible, try to just hold on wherever you can, but get a little pressure against that leg so you can spin your chest open. And then take the other arm and you're gonna reach it overhead. It might not go there. It might go more up here if you're really tight in that side body. Just do what you can. Keep spinning that chest open as you bend over to the side. Good, inhale. Exhale. Good, breathe, inhale. Exhale. Good, one more breath. See if you can go a little bit further, reaching that arm longer. Very nice. And then bring yourself all the way back up. All right, we're gonna switch that to the other side. Ooh, I feel so lengthened on that side. All right, let's do the same to the other. So leg nice and long, other leg pulled in. Sit it up nice and tall. All right, find that arm to the inside, other arm reaching overhead. Spin that chest open and breathe. Good, inhale. Exhale. So find expansion on the ribs as you inhale. Exhale. Bring it a little bit further over, two more breaths. Good, last breath. And then go ahead and bring it all the way back up. Very nice. All right, we're gonna uh, turn and face the end of our mats again. This time we're gonna come onto your forearms. So we're gonna find a little bit of what we call a puppy pose. So we're gonna come down to the forearms and we're gonna walk the knees back, but I want you to keep your hips over your knees. And then I want you to sink your chest down. You might have to walk your arms forward a little bit. 
And so your forehead might reach the floor if you have some flexibility in your back. And you're letting that upper body really try to relax towards the floor. It's not gonna get to the floor besides maybe your forehead, but I want you to feel this nice release through the back, through the chest, through the shoulders. Good. And keep those hips lifted. This is not a child's pose. This one's different. Good, inhale. And exhale. Good, last breath. Good, and exhale. Good, stay here on the knees. We're gonna come into a thread the needle. You'll prop yourself up onto your hands for this part. You'll go ahead and take your, let's start with your left arm first. You're gonna bring it under the right arm, thread it through, and then let your body release to the floor on that left side of your head. Now, you're gonna try to reach the left fingers as far away from the body as you can, trying to Find some stretch here in the back of that left arm. I want you to keep pulling this right hip back in space. So it's gonna to wanna to twist forward. So keep pulling it back. Your gaze can be up towards the ceiling. Your eyes can be closed. Good, deep breath in and deep breath out. Good, one more breath. Good, left hand under the, sorry, right hand under that right shoulder. Bring it up and we're gonna switch it over to the other side. So now that right arm is gonna lift, bring it out to a T first and then slide it under the left, gazing up towards the ceiling. And this time you're pulling your left hip back in space. Finding the space in the back of that right arm. Good, beautiful, deep breath in. And deep breath out. Good, one more breath here. Good, bring that hand under that shoulder. Press yourself up and give me one round of cat and cow, inhaling to expand. Exhale to round. Good, sit onto your heels now. And we're gonna go ahead and clasp your hands behind your back. So we're gonna go for a little chest opening stretch here. So I want you to go ahead and bring the hands around. Go ahead and bring them together. If you can bring the palms together, great. If not, don't worry. And I really want you to roll your shoulders back and down. And then we're gonna to start to lift the hands up and back, looking up towards the ceiling, gazing, feeling the shoulder blades squeeze together. Good, one more deep breath here. And then let it go, releasing the arms. All right, so now, whichever thumb you had on top, you're gonna switch it so the other thumb is on top. It's gonna to feel like your awkward side. It's not gonna feel right, but that's the point. So go ahead and do the hands behind the back again, roll the shoulders back and down. Good, lift through that heart and chest and then lift those arms. Good, squeezing those shoulders. Good, one more breath. And then go ahead and release, very nice. Go ahead and widen the knees now. Come down to your child's pose. Hold it here, forehead to mat. I want you to take three of your deepest breaths that you've taken all day right here. So take a deep breath in, inhale. Exhale, make it long and slow as you let it go. And again, inhale. Exhale. 
Last one, inhale. And exhale. Oh, sigh it out. Good, bring yourself all the way up to that seated position and just find a comfortable seat facing forward. So if you are part of this series, you are done. Amazing job. You can do a little dance. Be excited for all that you've accomplished. I'm so proud of you and everything that you've done. It's hard to stick to something, right? So the fact that you made it this 30 days, no matter how long it took you, I'm so proud of you. You should be proud of yourself. Hopefully you have developed that habit, that routine of bringing some movement into your day, right? Even just a little bit, that 20 minutes, that 30 minutes, something to get your body moving and feeling your best. So I am just so grateful that you've been here with me and you shared this journey with me. Please, please, please leave a comment. Let me know how it went or just say hi. I would love to hear from you. Um, if you're interested in checking out some more, there's always some more on my channel. So please go ahead and check that out there. Um, I have over 200 videos on there. So there's a little bit of something for everyone. I like to say that I make Pilates accessible for all. At least that is my goal. So I hope you will join me there as well. So I'll link a couple of videos here too. Um, but otherwise, feel amazing. Give yourself a pat on the back. You did it. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I can't wait to see you back here next time. I'll see you then. Bye.